Round one. I thought I would take some artistic liberties here, and that's where everyone freaks out. And I thought on the, what better on this one year anniversary of my best friend's priestly ordination than to draw a letter I almost wrote to the Archbishop. <laughs> Let's rewind a year and one day ago to December 10th, 2020. Dear Archbishop Miller, my good friend and fellow classmate, Mr. Richard Conlon, Deacon Richard Conlon, has requested that you ordain him a priest tomorrow, December 11th, Holy Rosary Cathedral. I consider it my fraternal duty to submit to you this letter outlining his many qualifications, lest his initial foray into TikTok has left him thinking far too worldly. <laughs> I assure you, the grace he simply speaks, simply seeks to spread the gospel to all levels of society, even if those levels be fully submerged in the intellectual equivalent of fruit loops and soda pops. <laughs> and, dear Archbishop Miller, did you know, speaking of food, Deacon Richard doesn't actually need to eat. <laughs> is an incredible asset as a priest and their busy modern lives. I can personally attest that when we vacationed together for eight days in Whistler, while I brought two full coolers of the choicest Italian foods, lest I eat the same meal twice, my dear brother, Deacon Richard, brought nothing more than a couple vials of some powdered astronaut food gels and a magic bullet blender. In case you too would like to order some, I believe they were called Alpha Male Superman Protein Power Testosterone Vitamin Power Mix. Register trademark, they're trading on the TSX radio. Needless to say, Your Grace, with such frugality and love of poverty, he will save his parish a ton of money. <laughs> and your grace, his propensity for superhuman foods gives him a superhuman strength. I personally witnessed when, on the uneven soccer field at the seminary, he caught and twisted his ankle and broke it on the spot. He said nothing more than, ouch. <laughs> and then promptly went to his room to ice his ankle. This kind of resolve to martyrdom will serve you. <laughs> now, my dear Father Archbishop Miller, you should also be aware that Deacon Richard possesses the great skill of building community and uniting people. At seminary, on one of our teen bonding nights, Richard introduced his fellow classmates to some classic team building games he had picked up over the years, such as Beer Pong, Games <laughs> Cup, and Flip Cup. The origins of these games, I certainly do not know, and I have to be But Richard himself hinted at some past life as he glanced over at his university degree. But needless to say, you will know his creativity will serve him well in the parish. <laughs> Deacon Richard also possesses a fantastic memory. I assure you, he will remember all you ever tell him and command him as a superior. He has memorized countless passages of scripture or the catechism with ease, and he is just as quick at quoting other secular sources, such as the Jewish serial television series Seinfeld, <laughs> or the American documentary series on suburban life South Park. <laughs> He is truly capable of weaving divine and pagan sources into a compelling narrative. No doubt, an asset to preaching. Deacon Richard, dear Archbishop Miller, is a man of deep prayer. I cannot state how many times I have seen him each day kneeling in the chapel at his favorite kneeler, wearing his favorite large black oversized Vancouver College hoodie. Slowly pulling the hood over his head, breathing very slowly, barely moving, and certainly not looking like an angry, possibly deranged man about to scream out conspiracy theories. Certainly not. Rather, 
He is the perfect image of true piety. So much so that he experiences a sort of transformation when in the presence of our Lord. So much so that the pious old ladies of his parish were prepared to call the police on this dark and hooded man who was over in the corner of the sanctuary because just like Moses the prophet before him, they did not recognize his face for it shone after having spoken with him. Unfortunately, the hoodie covered the shining face, leading to the confusion. But rest assured, dear Archbishop, his face did indeed shine. And lastly, Your Grace, if none of this has convinced you, let me simply resort to the simple appeal that my, this man, my brother, Deacon Richard Conlin, really wants to be a priest, like I mean, Really. And that's worth something, especially in the 21st century. And when at a retreat, you may recall, Archbishop Miller, you shared with us seminarians that in your days, the vocation poster said, hard work, long hours, no pay, apply within. And all of us seminarians shriveled and died a little inside. Deacon Richard practically shouted, whoopee, my favorite. <laughs> I understand this Bible appeal may be lacking in theological rigor, but come on, Your Grace, what more do you need? Sincerely yours, Raphael Salvino. Dear Archbishop Miller, due to recent allegations from a Mr. Father Raphael Salvino, it is my urgent duty as a cleric of the Archdiocese of Vancouver that I respond immediately to you, my superior, to clarify this potentially scandalous report. First, although I do indeed take full responsibility for sneaking onto Fraser View Golf Club after a Sunday Mass to hit a golf ball out of the air in a cassock, see Exhibit A, I am completely innocent of the music selection chosen for that TikTok video. I had never even heard of the music group Blackpink. On the other hand, Father Raphael Salvino, also known as Raffi among K-pop fans, is a bit of a different story. Your Grace, I present to you Exhibit B. Blackpink in your area. And just in case some people out there might think that's a bit of Photoshop editing, I present to you Exhibit C. Incontestable evidence. Second, Father Salvino's accusation of my consumption of nothing but alpha male Superman protein power testosterone vitamin power mix for eight days in Whistler needs some correction. The real name was Mita Mangreen's alpha male performance formatory dietary supplement. See exhibit D, highlighting a recent conversation with Father Salvino to attest to the truth of my claims. Furthermore, the only reason I was able to consume nothing but Mita Mangreen's Alpha Male Performance Formatory Dietary Supplement was because Father Salvino made me eat five pounds of the greasiest Mexican food known to man on our drive up to Whistler that very day at a place called Sunny Chivas. See Exhibit E. <laughs> Father Salvino, your claims have no serious weight to them. Third, Father Salvino's accusation that I introduced three pagan games into the seminary community, being beer pong, flip cup, and king's cup, is only two thirds true. Beer pong and flip cup, of course, those games are classic. King's cup, no. Mm. 
Mm. That game's for girls. Father Salvino, on the other hand, when given the opportunity to have a games night at the seminary, introduced three games that are still banned to this day from Westminster Abbey. I present to you Exhibit F, Post-Vatican II Karaoke. The King of Glory comes, the nation rejoices. Dance Dance Revolution with Saint Nick. And who could forget Father Salvino's favorite game of all, Nighttime, Daytime. Nighttime, Daytime, Nighttime, Daytime! Archbishop Miller, I hope that by now you see that I am in no need of defending any more false accusations, such as in my expertise of quoting Seinfeld and South Park, my mystical experience in a Vancouver college hoodie, and responding to the challenges of the priesthood with whoopee, my favorite. Sincerely yours, Father Richard Conlon. <laughs> God, I got no words. That was, when did you record that? This is, this morning. is live, Father Richard, this is live. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's why you, oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. You know what? No, I accept it as humility, but you dug deep for those. I thought I closed my former Facebook account. Where, where are you pulling these off? Of? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, and here we go. Now the questions are coming. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have a lot of emails after this. Hopefully none from the bishop, but thanks, man. I love you too. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>